Here's what I think. I've never even heard you use that devil's work thing about Obamacare. Why about this? My argument is this is becoming some kind of perverse holy war for you guys. Hopefully, once again, Democrats will find a way to fight off the obvious intentions of people like Senator Johnson. I really hate that man. CNN, the place for an American balkanized state. What is he even talking about? This is a complete revision of history. What's his evidence? Where's his examples? And what exactly are these alleged obvious intentions of Ron Johnson? We're gonna get into all that and more, but first, if you don't have a VPN, right now is the time. There's suggestions that our credit scores might be based on our internet history in the near future. The same way that banks use data like income to judge credit eligibility now is how websites could use internet search history in the near future. I will not let my internet history be the judge of my credit score. That's why I use Virtual Shield. Just go to the link in the description and pin comment and get Virtual Shield for 50% off today. This has nothing to do with race. Why distinguish between rioters by race? Has nothing to do with race. <laughs> Screw you, Cuomo. Ron Johnson was clearly talking about BLM and Antifa. You'll notice that Chris Cuomo completely left out the Antifa part so that he could continue stoking racial hatred. Antifa are a bunch of white people. But you'll notice that this isn't the first time that CNN has attempted to claim that criticism of Antifa was racist because, quote, Antifa are black people. It's all lies. Nothing Ron Johnson said was racial in any way. He was simply pointing out the undeniable fact that concerns conservatives don't riot. While left-wing riots committed by BLM and Antifa in 570 different cities has cost about $1.2 billion in damage, 24 people have lost their lives and 700 officers were assaulted and injured. Chris Cuomo was part of the incitement of that violence, telling these violent communists that it doesn't say protests had to be peaceful in the Constitution, even though it clearly does. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. And please. It's the, the First Amendment, you just gotta look it up. Why would you bring back the most odious laws suppressing the black vote almost by design since Jim Crow? You want a nice activity? Google Jim Crow laws in states where they existed and compare them to the language, the phraseology, and the intention of what's being sold in over 40 states right now. Gee, <laughs> you know what would have been a good place to prove these completely insane accusations that you're making? Maybe on your CNN show? Can you freaking believe this guy? He's telling millions of Americans that the GOP is bringing back Jim Crow. And his evidence for this is, go Google it. Does he not have a team of researchers that could easily compile some of these Googled phraseologies? Cuomo doesn't cite a single piece of legislation. He doesn't present any language. He just says, go Google it. No doubt because the chuds that are still watching Chris Cuomo will inevitably end up on some leftist fake news site that will insist everything is racist. Explain how these are about keeping the election safe. And that's what you have to do is limit access to the polls. Tell me how that makes it safe. Just to be clear here, when people like Chris Cuomo talk about limiting voting rights, what they're actually talking about are things like voter ID. They literally think that minorities aren't capable of getting voter IDs. And this is the warped logic that they use to scare everyone else into thinking things like Jim Crow are coming back. But Fredo wasn't done with his hate-filled myth-making and turned to coronavirus vaccines, making the dubious claim that over 40% of Republican men wouldn't take the vaccine, and of course used this to attack them as inhuman monsters. Look at the number on your screen. Trump's main base of support. Why? No number. I promise you it's there. We're doing a whole segment on it tonight, okay? They have over 40% within the number of Republican men. 41% don't want to take the vaccine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Take a look at that graphic. It doesn't say what Cuomo says it says. That graphic says that the number of Republican men who have gotten it or will get the vaccine. And also notice that it cites a poll from Axios Ispos 
There is no such poll. I googled it. Seriously though, there is no poll from Axios Ispos with either of the claims being made by CNN or Andrew Cuomo's propagandist brother here. But look what I did find. A poll showing that below 43% willing to take the vaccine from both Democrat and independents. And you want to know who else doesn't want to take the vaccine? Black Americans. Around 35% say they don't trust the vaccine. But of course the media excuses them and blames past experiments against black Americans such as the Tuskegee Airmen. But it just goes to show that the media and hacks like Chris Cuomo care less about coronavirus and the vaccine than they do about gaining political advantage from it and tearing the country apart in the process. That's all for this one. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe. And if you want to support this channel and my mission, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.